world, welcome to the 52nd video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the 6th video in my Raspberry Pi 4 playlist, and today we'll be doing some object detection using TensorFlow Lite and the Raspberry Pi 4. And so I found this YouTube video from Edge Electronics from 12 November 2019 and I ran the code and it worked perfectly so we're gonna run through today with uh, my followers I recommend you go to his channel and subscribe because he uh, he has some really good videos on there so today we're going to be uh, we're going to remote connection in and so if you don't know how to do this then I recommend you go to my video on how to set up a remote desktop desk desktop connection the link to that is in the description all right so we are connected to our Raspberry Pi 4 now I've already installed all of these libraries and it works so I'm going to simulate me installing it but you just have to type it and it'll work for you so first you open up a terminal. All right, then we're going to zoom in a little bit so you can see. All right, before you do anything, if you've watched any Raspberry Pi 4 tutorial, you know the first thing that you do is you do a sudo apt get update. All right, so I've already done that, so it'll run the code. Then you'll do a sudo get apt hyphen get upgrade. Okay. And then after that done, you're going to use this function called git clone, which it tell is basically telling it to go to GitHub. And then in the description. You're going to see this right here. The link will be in the description. So copy and paste that. All right, and then end it with dot git. All right, so you run that. And this is going to take a while. And that's a pretty large code. So if you are on your actual Raspberry Pi and can't, you know, go to the internet as fast. I'll leave this up for a second. Okay. And so after that run, then it will be installed on your Raspberry Pi. So the next one is you type in this right here, MV space TensorFlow, the T and the F are capitalized, underscore light object detection on oh sorry about that you're going to type in tensorflow light these are hyphens not underscores dot or hyphen object hyphen detect detection hyphen on hyphen on Android and Raspberry hyphen Pi and then backslash space TF light one. All right, and if you want to see where that code is from, it's basically just this TensorFlow light object detection on Android Raspberry and Raspberry Pi. This, that's basically what we just typed in. Then you do the backslash space TF light one. All right, you're gonna let that run. Now some of these might take a while. And so I recommend going P like I do in between each one. Then we're going to CD or go into this folder called TF light one. And you know you're in the TF light one folder now because it says TF light one. 
Then you're going to do sudo pip3 install virtual env. So if you already don't have this, this is going to install the virtual environment library. Okay, after that's done, you're going to type in python3 space dash m vnv tf light 1 dash env. Okay, let that run. All right. Now you're going to create the virtual environment by going source tf light 1 hyphen env bin activate backslash bin activate all right and now you can see to the left it says tf light 1 dash env so we have established a virtual environment now edge electronics has already listed all the requirements for us so uh, I believe that's a text file here get pi requirements dot sh that's going to install all the libraries I believe it's 400 megabytes worth it so if you do have to go p then this is the time so you're going to go bash get underscore pi underscore requirements dot sh Just like it says here, get underscore pi underscore requirements dot sh. All right, you're going to let that run. That's going to take quite a while and it will hang up. So you'll see it stop in certain places and there will be a spinning um, straight bar like this. So you'll press return and it'll look like this and it'll slowly go to this, slowly go to that. It looks like a wheel and it can take quite a while depending on your connection and a bunch of things like how fast your SD card is but let that run walk away from it whatever you do to kill time and then it'll say this has successfully installed so next you're going to want to uh, install tensorflow so pip3 install and make sure you're in here right this virtual environment pip3 install tensorflow equals equals 1.13 so this is the version of tensorflow that edge electronics used in his and so I'm not sure if any other new libraries have been out that may impact this code but as of today 29 February 20 leap year it works so type this let it run this can also take quite a while all right. So after that runs, then we need to get the zip file that has the model. So luckily, TensorFlow already has a model with 80 something objects for it to detect. And the Raspberry Pi 4 can get um, files directly from the internet like this. So w get space then we're going to go here to this object detection for mobile and internet of things right for mobile and internet of things models and you're going to see this download starter model and labels so what you're going to do is you're going to right click this copy link address you're going to go here and you're going to paste it All right, so that's the zip file right there. The wget is going to get that zip file. It's going to download to your computer, press return, and it's going to download to your computer. All right, so now you have a model. So you should have just done the wget, right? You just went there. And now you can type in unzip, and then if you press tab, it will, hold on, let me, It will remember this part of it, right? It'll strip the internet address and just the zip file. So if you were to press tab, it should look 
like this on yours. All right, so it should be the trailing part of the file that you just downloaded. So for example, if we look at that, in the lower left hand corner, you can see that it says Coco underscore SSD underscore mobile net underscore virtual version one, just like this, right? So then press space hyphen D space sample underscore TFLIT slash model All right, and run it. If you get an error, you might have to underscore this one right here. Or I'm sorry, lowercase it. So when I first ran his code, I had to have an uppercase on this L and um, I got rid of everything, ran it again, and I had to do a lowercase. I'm not sure what happened. So after you do that, try both and tell me in the comments which currently works and then people can see the date of your comment. All right, so run that. It'll unzip all the files. This one takes a little bit too. And then that's the last thing. The model is on your computer now. All right, so the next thing you do is you go to Python 3. We're actually going to run the Python file now. TF, capital L in this case, light detection underscore webcam dot pi. Then you're going to go hyphen hyphen model dir equals sample underscore tf. Now again, when I redid it, I had to do a lowercase l tf light model. And how can you tell which one you need to do? Well, if you followed everything exactly like I did up to here, just type, go to file manager and then you should see a TF light one folder, right? And then you can see this sample TF light model. This is an under or a lowercase L. If you have an uppercase L, you're going to have to use uppercase in this one right here, but mine is lowercase. So when we press enter, it's going to run. Okay. I spelled sample wrong. So we're going to try that one more time by pressing the up button. And we're going to add an L. All right. So that's a good sign. And there we go. So it is 76% sure. I'm a person. So we're going to do the cute Asian girl pose real quick. All right. And as you can see up here, we have a 4.2%, uh, or I'm sorry, 4.2 roughly frames per second. All right. So let's see if I can move this and see if it finds anything else. Okay, so it found my bed, right? It is 59% sure that's a bed. Okay, and that's the video. So now we are object detection. So four frames per second is not a lot. So if you subscribe to his channel, he should be having a USB accelerator video coming out soon. So give him some motivation to do that. So please subscribe to my channel and like this video. And um, thanks for watching.
goodbye world